brain tech here, where tech is made simple. So Microsoft is busy finalizing the next and first optional bug fix updates for Windows 11 for this year, 2023. And these updates will be rolling out soon. And I would suggest we can expect the updates to start rolling out from next week onwards. And those will be the first C-release bug fix updates for 2023. Now, just heading over to the release notes for the updates, which are currently being finalized in the release preview channel before they get released to the stable channel. And the next optional bug fix update for Windows 11 22H2 will be KB5022360 and will upgrade the build of version 22H2 um, to 2261.1192. And moving over to uh, version 21H2, the original release, uh, that build will be bumped up to 22,000.1515. And the next update for 21H2 will be KB5019274. Now, um, just to take a look at some of the new improvements, um, at first for Windows 11 22H2, and it's regarding .NET Framework preview updates that are rolled out every month. Now, currently, the um, optional preview .NET Framework updates that roll out um, currently are shown under quality updates. And now what's going to be happening um, when they do roll out after you do decide to install this next um, optional update, those optional preview updates will be shown under the advanced options optional updates page. So they will be placed on this page so you can control which optional updates you want to install. So um, they won't uh, be shown um, on the main Windows update page. They now will reside advanced options, optional updates, just giving you the choice if you want to install the update or not. And then moving on to version 21H2, uh, the original release, a couple of new improvements, um, all to do with the settings app. So just heading back to the settings app, the first uh, on the personalization themes page, uh, if you do decide to install the next optional update for version 21H2, Microsoft will combine uh, the Windows Spotlight with themes on the personalization page, which has already rolled out to version 22H2. And then heading to the accounts page, uh, quite a bit going on here, where Microsoft say they have improved the Microsoft account experience in settings. And you can now manage your OneDrive subscriptions and storage alerts from this page. And um, they will also provide the full amount of storage capacity of all your OneDrive subscriptions and uh, it will also, also display the total storage on the accounts page in the settings app. And then if you have an Xbox subscription, those details will also be seen on the accounts page. And Xbox subscribers can also manage their subscription on the accounts page if you do decide to install the next optional bug fix update. And heading to the system page in the settings app. And um, on this page, um, Microsoft say they will display storage alerts for Microsoft OneDrive subscribers. And the alerts um, will appear when you are close to your storage limits. So those are a couple of the improvements which have already rolled out to version 22H2, which will be made available for version 21H2 with the next optional bug fix C release update. Now, just to go through a couple of the fixes as the update will be a bug fix update and the bug fixes over and, above, over and above the improvements are exactly the same for both versions of Windows 11. So just to go through those quickly, if interested, uh, they are fixing an issue that affected the search indexer.exe. Apparently, it was randomly stopping uh, when signing in or signing out. So search indexer.exe will be getting a bug fix. And then um, they also are fixing an issue that might occur uh, when the input method editor um, was activated or active. Apparently, um, act applications and um, may stop responding when certain users and um, were using mouse and keyboard the mouse and keyboard at the same time and they also fixed an issue that was damaged uh, that damaged the memory apparently this issue occurred and um, when you were using certain hd audio controller hardware so that's quite an important fix where um, hd audio controller hardware was actually damaging uh, physical memory and then another important fix um, it's regarding the Trusted Platform Module, TPM. Uh, they fixed an issue that was affecting certain systems that had um, the firmware Trusted Platform Modules, TPM, and apparently the issue was stopping users from using Autopilot to set up um, different systems. So that's an important bug fix also rolling out. And then just one or two more to go. They also fixed an issue that affected printing in landscape mode uh, with uh, the Microsoft Edge web browser 
where um, apparently this um, was affecting the uh, print output, which was incorrect. So a printing issue being, a, being addressed for Microsoft Edge. And they also fixed an issue that stopped the touch keyboard from opening, if you were using that. And then the last one, just to mention, uh, they fixed an issue that stopped explorer.exe from responding. And explorer.exe uh, is basically the shell of the operating system. So that would be your file explorer, your start menu, your taskbar, and so on. So apparently explorer.exe wasn't responding in certain circumstances. And apparently this occurred when uh, users were using play and pause buttons on their keyboards on certain devices. So that's it. Uh, that's the next optional bug fix series updates rolling out for Windows 11 version 22H2 and 21H2, which we can expect to see uh, near the end of January 2023 rolling out over the next coming days. So thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.